The process of ba'at. Ba'at takes place is an intention. Asutis in ba'at is niyat. Remember I told you that to, what is ba'at that kisi ke andar koi niyat hai. And apne aap ko us niyat mein pukhta karne ke liye ahad karna. So, the asal thing in the ba'at is niyat. So there are three niyats that a person makes in ba'at. Number one niyat is toba. That I'm making toba from all of my past sins, from all of my past ways. Second niyat, and this is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said in the Quran, Tubu illallahi tawbatun nasuha. And this is particularly the, the bayat of toba that is mentioned in the Quran and the Sahih Bukhari. Second niyat is tajdeed iman. The Prophet said, Jaddidu imanakum, that you should continually renew your iman. So the second niyat is that I repent from my past sins, and secondly, right now I reassert and retestify from the bottom of my heart my iman and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the Prophet and all of the imaniyat. And the third niyat is for the future. That in the future I want to live my life according to the pleasure of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, following the sunnah of the Prophet and bringing about my own tazkiyah and islah. And so the, way, and the procedure for this is that the shaykh recites words of iman and words of tawbah. That's it. Words, kalimat of iman again, which we do with the niyat of tajdeed iman, and words of tawbah that we do with the niyat that we are doing tawbah, pledging our tawbah to Allah with someone, and Ya Allah, we are taking this person as a tutor in our tawbah who will tell us some nafal amal, nafal ibadah to do, that if we do them, the love for you will come into my heart, and when the love for you will come into my heart, then I will be able to be true in my tawbah. So I'm going to recite the words because a few of you have sent me this on your chit as well. And you can recite these words with any one of two intentions. That way nobody has to feel under any pressure or feel in any way exposed. The first way all of you can recite these words is just with niyat of tawbah, not bad. Just with the niyat of tawbah because you're, you'll see the words are iman and istighfar. So a person can make the niyat of tajdeed, iman and istighfar and recite these words. Secondly, if a person wants to begin this journey and start being trained and have a teacher in those nafal askar that I told you, then a person can make the additional niyat of bayat and then you can tell me that afterwards, privately, send me a chit or send me an SMS. Alright? So I'm going to recite these words and you can say them with either one or both niyats and you will see the words are only the words of iman and the words of tawbah. You can recite them with that niyat of tajdeed iman and of making, seeking the forgiveness and tawbah of Allah subhanahu and if you wish, you may recite it with the additional niyat that you wish to embark on this journey of being tutored in the path of tawbah and being guided in the way of zikr and being guided in the path of the love for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Alhamdulillahi wa kafa wa salamun ala ibadihi ladhina stafa amma ba. Repeat these words after me. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. La ilaha illallah Muhammadur Rasulullah amantu billahi wa malaikatihi wa kutubihi wa rusulihi wal yawmil akhiri wal qadri khayrihi wa sharrihi min Allah ta'ala wal ba'fi ba'dal maut amantu billahi kama huwa bi asma'ihi wa sifatihi wa qabiltu jami'a ahkamihi ikrarum bil lisani wa tasdeekum bil qalb ashhadu an la ilaha illallah wa ashhadu anna muhammadan abduhu wa rasuluhu astaghfirullah rabbi min kulli dhanbin wa atubu ilayhi astaghfirullah rabbi min in kulli dhanbin wa atubu ilayh wa sallallahu ta'ala ala sayyidina muhammad wa ala alihi wa ashabihi ajma'in bi rahmatika ya arhamar rahimin make dua